Hello everyone. So today is <clears throat> Tuesday, June 20th, 2019. As you can see behind me, I'm um, in front of the Greek Ombudsman's office because I had to submit another complaint to the Greek Ombudsman. It is here uh, about <clears throat> Uh, release of my cell phone from the police custody as you know uh, on May 2nd 2019 at the doorsteps of the UNSCR while well, I tried to raise the organization I had been assaulted by the police they also confiscated my cell phone and then they took me to the court <clears throat> the trial was taking place on May 18th uh, 15th 2019 and I was sentenced to prison and I was I had to serve a six-month prison sentence after my release from Naflio prison. Uh, however, I went back to the court and <coughs> got the court decision about the release of my cell phone and the applications two days ago, which I took uh, back to the Ambilo Kipi police station for the release of my cell phone, but they are denying to cooperate. They actually, I had a lot of difficulties even with, you know, submitting the court's letter to the Greek to the Ambelo Kipi police station and then uh, that's the situation they have they tell me I have to wait for unknown period of time in order to get my phone back and I don't understand why because I have a court order and I should be able to get my phone back immediately <coughs> so here is the my complaint new complaint yesterday actually I was here I consulted with them before I submit this new complaint to them I already did today a few minutes ago and I'm going to read it for you attached are also a lot of documents here are a lot of documents well, I'm going to show you when while I'm reading my letter okay dear the Greek ombudsman encloses a copy of my previous complaint here's a copy of my previous complaint as you can see to your organization on Wednesday, May 8, 2019, this complaint was given a reference number 260862. However, in your letter number 246406, 24, dated June 20, 2019, the Greek Ombudsman has considered, here is the letter from the Greek Ombudsman, which, with respect to this case, the Greek Ombudsman has considered the case to be closed if, even before examining the additional information sent to you on Wednesday, May 29, 2019. So, as I said, I on May 15th I had a court and then they put me in prison and from Napoleon prison I also sent them, sent the Greek Ombudsman this additional information with regard to my case and these applications of course here are four applications and this application as well the other application here on the back side of this letter okay uh, in your letter number 24406 dated on june 28 2019 the greek ombudsman has considered the case to be closed even before examining the additional information sent to you on wednesday may 29 2019 but since i sincerely believe this complaint is also related to the same issues described there i had to refer to them again <coughs> As you must know, as a result of an illegal deportation from Sweden back to Greece in September 2015, and also due to total lack of protection in Greece, I have announced a hunger strike and protest at the doorsteps of the UN Refugee Agency in Athens on March 21, 2017, which still continues up to date under the most inhumane, degrading and undignified conditions. At the doorsteps of the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, I am requesting a safe passage or a legal way of entry to a country or asylum such as Canada, USA or Australia or to be resettled in one of those countries urgently. Immediately after the break of my hunger strike, 
Over two years ago, on May 23, 2017, the Court of Athens, the Castrio Evil Peace Zone, have imposed a restraining order that has practically prohibited me not just from entering the UNHCR building, but even from approaching the organization, which in a sense has basically hindered my life and even, dare I say, has also enslaved me in Greece. <clears throat> As you have seen the documents, I also attached this document for them. I don't have it here with me because there are many pages, 16 pages. The court's order officially does not prohibit me from entering the UNHCR's building. However, what has been practiced by the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, the Hellenic Police and the Greek court itself is nothing but exactly that because even in spite of over 27 months of resisting protest i still have no have not been able to enter the unhcr building in order to register with the organization nor for my case to be forwarded for resettlement in another country or even to be given clear information about my fate and my status in this country who or what am i in this country is not officially clear a refugee a hostage, a prisoner of war, or nobody with no identity at all who has been systematically deprived of everything and left alone to die. I need protection and a country that can offer me that, which certainly is not Greece and will never be Greece for sure. The conditions at the doorsteps of the UNHCR are of course totally unbearable, torturous and very humiliating. I had practically been living like a caveman for as many as 27 months with having access to nothing, even basic needs such as livelihoods, food, shelter, or even sanitary services such as toilet or bathroom. Inside my shelter, even I have to bear the heat as high as approximately 40 degrees during the day hours this day, and that is when the summer is yet to arrive. Not to mention, I'm also currently only eating one meal a day only to survive. I had been looted by Europe over the past five years and currently running out of funds. The desperation is real and the risks are too high. Yet the organization UNHCR, even in spite of over 27 months of pro resisting protests at the doorsteps of their office, not only has not yet even acknowledged my presence there, but also seems to have completely lost perspective and compassion because not only they had been working hard to criminalize my case and even targeting my personal character and my dignity and honor in many sophisticated and calculated ways, but also have been consistent in extending the situation in a clear hope that I would eventually die and never going to make it, perhaps dead by starvation. It's if an easy solution without having to cost them anything and all at the expense of the refugee himself. On the other hand, a systematic deprivation and targeted assassination. Will all the human rights agencies, whether based in Greece or internationally, one of which I presume it must be yours, will stand by and do absolutely nothing about this? If yes, at least I need to know why. If no, then where the hell are they to help put an end to this situation? Having all this in mind, of course, you must understand, it would be very foolish to assume I would stand by and let my life be destroyed by the gypsies and the savages of Europe simply just like that. I need a way out of this and this endless torment imposed on me for this many years for the crime of seeking refuge in this continent. That, of course, if seeking refuge is ever a crime, because I didn't know if it was, at least not before I came here. Getting to the UNHCR office seems to be the only way out, yet they also blocked my access to the organization, because I had to appear before the court of Athens, the Casterio Evel Pison, on 18 different occasions so far, and even had to, had to go to jail on five different occasions only, for having attempted to reach the UN Refugee Agency and seeking a durable and sustainable solution for my life. Will this deter me from trying again? It will not. Not today and not ever, at least not for as long as I can breathe. What do these people want? I can only assume that this 
I can only assume that they want slaves, but I cannot be a slave. I never was and I will never be. Besides, I didn't cross the agency to be a slave in Europe. On Thursday, May 2nd, 2019, I had attempted to reach the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, again, but they closed all the doors again, even before I reached the entrance of the building. As always, all my distress calls were completely neglected, and the police was sent to remove me from the place. The two police officers have arrived likely in 15 minutes, have aggressively removed me from the place violently took my cell phone samsung galaxy s8 edge handcuffed me and took me to the police station without again giving any explanation or whatsoever at the ambulance police station the police has demanded access to my cell phone in order to enable them to remove the videos and the evidence of their violent and vicious behavior behaviors since I did not give in to the police's unjustified demands, they therefore confiscated my cell phone, Samsung Galaxy S8 Edge, and had taken me to the court a day after and the day after that, but the trial was finally postponed to Wednesday, May 15, 2019. My cell phone, cell phone has remained at the Ambulu Kipi police station to be sent to another department for what they said inspecting the videos of this particular incident i was also verbally informed that the court will decide about it on the day of the trial in the court on wednesday may 8 15 2019 i was again falsely accused of blocking the entrance of the UNHCR building and interrupting people's traffic there however they of course failed to offer any evidence or even a witness who would back their false accusations. The court had completely neglected my situation and also seemed to dismiss my rights for entering the unit CR building. They have also shown no sign of interest in clarifying their previous order that not only had left catastrophic impacts on my life but had also caused a lot of confusion as well as it had left the way wide open for exploiting a refugee's vulnerability at his time of depression, desperation and frustration. The court also did not want to summon the Greek asylum authorities, the Minister of Migration Policy, nor the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, who are the most responsible for this ongoing situation. By the end of their theatrical hearing, they once again sentenced me to jail and later that day I was sent to prison. I had to serve a six month prison sentence in the closed prison of Naflio, basically for no good reason other than having attempted to reach the office of the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, and seeking a durable and sustainable solution for my life. After my release from the closed prison of Naflio, I was finally able to get back to the court and obtain a copy of their decision on this particular hearing which was given the reference, reference number BAM 4403-2019 according to which I could also apply for the release of my cell phone Samsung Galaxy S8 Edge from the police custody. Here is the court's order. Here is the court's order. Uh, Court's order. I obtained this decision on June 6, 2019, but according to what I was being told at the court, I couldn't apply for the release of my cell phone immediately the same day and had to return it to the court again almost two weeks later. Enclosed finally on Thursday. Tuesday, June 18, 2019, I had been able to fill out the required applications in the court for release of my cell phone, which I managed to take to the Ambelokipi police station the same day. Here are the applications for release of my cell phone. And this is one of the applications which the police has already received it. And here is another application. Okay, two applications which I took to the Ambeloki police station same day. However, the police did not want to 
formally received the court's order, according to which they had to release my cell phone from custody. But instead, they told me that my cell phone is in another department and they will not receive the court's order and that I have to go back to their, their police station the next day so they could make a phone call to the other department and ask about my cell phone. The time was approximately half past one, even when they could place the phone call the same day, but they denied to do so and forcefully made me leave the police station. The next day, Wednesday, June 19, 2019, at the Ambeloki uh, police station, they told me they neither want to place a phone call to the other police department, nor that they wanted to receive the court's decision. And not only I have to leave the police station immediately, but also wait perhaps for in eternity until one day, if they wish, they will contact me and tell me about my phone. And that, of course, if that day is ever to come. I gently ask the police to receive the court's order, put a protocol number on it and also give me a copy of it, then I will leave. But now I realize that one of the officers had actually threatened to arrest me, then take me to the court so that according to him i serve another prison sentence eight months he said in another prison facility many other things also being said in the greek language which i could not understand at all i was very frustrated and threatened finally after nearly one hour of continued argument they finally received the court's order however they also told me that I still have to wait for days, weeks, or even perhaps a month before I could get my cell phone back. Here is the thing that confused me the most. They confiscated my cell phone, Samsung Galaxy S8 Edge, in an instance, even when they had no court order or whatsoever, and yet there I was, standing before them with a court order for the release of my cell phone, yet not only I had been threatened by them, but also been told that I have to wait for an unknown period of time before the police wishes to release my cell phone. If, as if the court's order in my hand was nothing but a complete waste of time and effort and a piece of trash. As if in this country, like so many tyrannical and undemocratic countries of the world, the law is the police and the will of the police, and whoever resisting them, whether right or wrong, has to end up behind the prison bars, because in the country of the gypsies, the law, the rule of law, the human rights, the rights of others has never mattered after all. Dear the Greek ombudsman, ombudsman, I am hereby submitting this complaint to your organization and hoping for your kind assistance in the following matters. First, to help for release of my cell phone Samsung Galaxy S8 Edge from the police custody. Second, if possible, to mediate with my ongoing situation at the doorsteps of the UN Refugee Agency so that I could reach the organization without having to face any further obstacles, fabricated difficulties, or without having to appear before the court or go to the prison again. Third, or to be advised on how to or to be given assistance for submitting my case to the Supreme Court of Greece or preferably the European Court of Human Rights. I cannot bear this situation any longer. I fear for my life, my safety and well-being. Thank you for your time and attention. I will remain at your disposal should you require any further information. Yours respectfully. Anwar Nilufari, my registered case number at the Greek Asylum Office. 12826 from the year 2014. Today is Thursday, uh, June 28, 2000.
19. 